Hello and welcome back to Hunter's Info. In this video, I will show you how to fix the battery drain on Google Pixel 10 Pro. Let's begin! There are a couple of things we can do to extend our battery and fix the possible drain, but probably the most basic one is simple battery saver. We can head into our settings, scroll down a little and navigate into battery. Now simply hit battery saver and we can enable it. As you can see this will change a couple of things, but mostly it will just limit, limit the visual effects and background activity and also it will turn on dark theme if you actually are a white user. Uh, by the way, this is because most screens are only screens and the fact that they need, they need more power to display brighter pixels which means that if most pixels on your screen are darker pixels then you don't have that issue. So that's very cool and also as you could see my timer dramatically changed. Now actually um, can't really uh, extend abilities of that but the, the list of changes is even more big. For example if we go into our display and touch here we can see that we have now screen timeout automatically set to 30 seconds of an activity even though before I actually set to like 5 minutes uh, with that uh, our phone will automatically turn itself off uh, after 30 seconds of activity which is very good because by default the smaller the number shorter the time the better battery life now I will wait a few more seconds for the screen to turn off and you will notice something very very important after screens, after the screen goes black, we can see nothing. There's literally nothing here. This is just a locked screen. And it's also very important that our by default battery saver also disables the always on play, which is right here. So even though technically it is enabled, it doesn't really change anything. But let's say that our screen Let's say that the power saving mode is pretty hard to use. Maybe you don't want to activate it every time. It's completely up to you. However, there is one nice way to automate that process. You can head into our battery again. Head into battery saver. As now we want to go into schedule and reminders. See that by default, or maybe not by default, it's hard to tell, our battery saver will automatically turn on based on battery level. So currently, if it drops below 20%, it will automatically enable itself and only disable itself when your battery is back above 90. So, of course, we can technically disable uh, those things and that's completely fine. You can even disable the reminders if you want to, but I do think they are pretty important and having them not disabled will basically just in your battery because let's be honest here people just forget about things and people just forget that I haven't turned up my phone in quite a while so I would advise you to just keep that enabled or maybe not 75 but we can enable it to for example 30% or 20 completely up to you and then we won't really have to bother with that because our phone will automatically enable itself but what if our battery saver is not on or what if you just Seconds. Well, there is a nice -ish way to fixing that. We can go back to display and touch, and first of all, we can disable always on play. Since while it is cool, it is fancy, or it's also pretty annoying to work with. Um, like personally, I'm not a fan of my phone not disabling itself, not locking its screen. Even though the screen is technically locked, it's still on, and I just I'm not not a big fan of it. And not even to mention that it does waste quite a lot of battery. And also the same timeout. I will personally will extend it. Oh, as you can see. Uh, the adaptive timeout is disabled. We can disable the battery saver for now. Um, we can increase it to, for example, 2 minutes. And you can only use a remember uh, to enable the adaptive timeout and screen attention. This way you have both of the words because thanks to that we can still use our phone without it uh, 
turning off every single second, but also you won't lose as much as battery as before. And also the brightness level, it's actually very very important. If we would increase the uh, if we would increase the control center and it would bump up the brightness, you will notice that it is fairly bright and actually very very bright. And the more brighter the screen, uh, well, the more battery it needs to actually power that screen. So I would advise you to not only lower it down tremendously, but I won't lower that much because anything on the camera. But you want to keep that relatively low and also you can disable adaptive brightness. This is because adaptive brightness basically works like, hey, if everything is around you too bright, I will also bump up the brightness for you. And while it can be pretty helpful, it is also a reason that your brightness levels can randomly, seemingly not, not randomly, uh, will go up or go down. And with them going up, also in battery usage, which is not a very good thing. But I think this is all for the display. Of course, lastly, we can enable dark theme if you want to, or you can have it so only the power saving mode enables the dark theme. It's completely up to you. But we can now leave the display and we can head to something else. Oh, actually, we're still going to battery. We can go into battery usage. And now we can see how much battery can be used. So as you can see, we can view by apps, or we can view by systems. And you will notice just how much of battery your screen is using. This is a very nice um, way of showing that this is why I've been talking for seven minutes now about this. Your display is pretty important. And the other part is this view. Well, I don't really have many tips about CPU, other than that, if you want to save the battery, you can just not use your phone. I know it sounds pretty stupid for me to say that, but just bear with me. If you would go back to battery usage and select my apps, you'll notice that I actually haven't used anything else um, other than system. But let's say I have installed the TikTok or YouTube or whatever, like typical social media apps, that requires much uh, Wi-Fi usage and they are... You won't believe how many times per day uh, your social media apps refresh themselves in the background, they use your battery just to, I don't know, send you random notification. It's pretty annoying, it's pretty bad, and you probably want to get rid of it. Well, technically you could just uninstall those apps, but of course, we'll 21st century, you have to have your hit TikTok, otherwise you will get bored. Whatever. So instead, we can try to enter our applications, which are right here, and see every single application. So as you can see, I don't really have any kind of these social media apps I've been talking about. I don't have Facebook installed. But let's say the Lightroom is an application uh, that is, let's say, social media app. Just let's imagine. Want to enter it? We can go into storage and cache, we can clear cache, so we won't have as much memory on uh, on our site. But we want to go into app battery usage, and we want to disallow the background usage. This way we won't receive some random updates, and by the way, on some applications, this feature might be broken. So as you can see, we can even allow and go into optimized or unrestricted. This is the possibly worst setting you can have. This is the optimal setting, and this is the best setting for your battery life. So, as you can see, with that, we can actually save just a little bit of that battery thanks to the usage uh, that we are cutting right now. And of course, once again, I'm sharing this on Lightroom because I don't have the app in them really. Uh, but actually, we can put up our new. You can go into battery app usage and you can disable it and boom! Technically, we probably won't receive notifications now or they will be delayed or something else. But this will save our battery tremendously. So, to be honest, I'm pretty sure this will also disable the play in the background function if you have YouTube Premium. I'm not exactly sure. But, as you can see, this whole video basically boils down to changing the settings so they are less battery heavy 
Oh, actually, I have just... Oh, I just remembered. Um, there is one setting that I, I kind of forgot about. Um, and it's not adaptive tone. Uh, the smooth display. And also screen resolution. Yeah, we can decrease screen resolution to lower resolution. So we have less pixels to show. And you can disable smooth display. Uh, so we won't go into 120 Hz. We'll only be set to 60. I, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that completely. Uh, because this is pretty well hidden. But yeah, you want to basically make sure that your display settings aren't heavy. And then you want to head into applications and disable their background usage. Especially you want to disable background usage for applications that show up right here. And that's all for this video. I really hope you found it helpful. If you have some other tips and tricks, you can always share them down in the comments below. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.